Hello, this is Russell Electrex Weld. This is a how-to guide to test diodes in a regulator rectifier. First of all, you need a multimeter, and you need to put your multimeter onto the diode tester. That is a symbol for a diode. With the red wire from the multimeter, you want to test the black wire to the regulator rectifier. So you put the wire from the multimeter into the back of the block and then you still have two hands. It's very difficult to do, otherwise it's a free-handed job really. So, with the black wire from the multimeter, you go to each phase, and you should get the same reading on the multimeter on each wire. And then you just repeat, so you take the red wire out and you put the black wire to the positive. Same again, back of the connector block and then you have two hands free. So you repeat, red wire to the phases and you should get around about the same reading on each wire. And that is how you do a diode check on an SR series regulator. The code will be on the back of the case. You can check that, it's easy. It will be engraved. Now, for a QR type, again, the code will be on the back of the case. This will only go one way. So, it will only go red wire from the multimeter to the black wire of the regulator. So you put that, this is a special case because it hasn't got the connector block on it, so it's quite easy. So you do the black wire to the yellows and you should get around about the same reading on the multimeter on each phase. And that's how you test a QR one. Just to show you, if you do the black wire from the multimeter to the red wire, you'll get nothing at all. There'll be no reading at all. So your regulator isn't broken necessarily but it just don't, you just do not get a reading on the, uh, on the positive wire. Now, I have an example of a broken regulator rectifier with faulty diodes. So again, you repeat the process. So the black wire to the red, put it in the back of the block so you've got hand free. See, that one you've got no reading at all, you've got a shorted diode. Then you go to this one, again that's a shorted diode, and then that one there is still working. And you can repeat again, it's not really necessary because you know that the regulator is already faulty. Well, that's a good diode there. That's another good one. And you've got one short on the negative side there. And that's how to do a diode check on a regulator rectifier when taken off of the bike.